Hello, I'm Alan Scott. Today I want to talk to you about shutter speed. I'm a bit of a shutter priority freak. Um, my All of my wildlife photography is governed by the type of subject I'm doing and relating that to the, the shutter speed that I need in order to get the shot that I want. Um, small birds in flight, like sparrows and finches, that type of thing, we're looking really at four thousandth of a second minimum. Uh, that's in order to be able to capture the wings razor sharp. If you go slightly slower, um, there will be motion blur in the wing tips, which can look nice. It, it gives the illusion of uh, motion, and it does give it a nice effect. But I like uh, being able to show detail as much as, as much as possible. Now then, looking at small birds being a four thousandth of a second, you don't quite need that speed for, for larger birds, such as uh, buzzards, uh, herons, lar larger birds that crow, large crows and seagulls, things like that. Um, you can possibly get away with <clears throat> 2,500 or 3,200. Um, <clears throat> this photograph here is a shell duck. I think it was taken, yes, it was taken at 2,500. And it really wasn't quite fast enough to freeze the total wing, but there is a little bit of blur there, and I think it looks really nice. It's uh, it does give the illusion that the bird is in motion, and it gives a, a nice feel to the a nice feel to the image. The the sparrows, which are always finicky to try and catch, um, you're taking lots and lots of pictures to try and even just get one. Uh, but it's great fun and if you can get the shutter speed right um, you can get some really dynamic shots just with a little a common little bird like a sparrow it, it's brilliant just being able to capture that uh, that uh, that motion that moment in time when everything is really sharp this sparrow here it wasn't quite I didn't quite get the speed right to get everything pin sharp in detail but it was it, it it does still does show plenty of detail it looks it gives the illusion of motion and movement and so it looks nice um, I govern my whole photography regime around shutter speed I decide what I'm gonna go out and film and I automatically know what shutter speed I need so therefore I know what ISO to use um, but I'll be honest with you, I'm quite lazy. I, I like using uh, ISO on automatic. That looks after after itself. And then I only need to concentrate on uh, on shutter speed and focus, and getting the thing getting the thing right. Make sure that shutter speed is really up there. Make sure that you've got enough s speed in order to be able to freeze that image. And uh, I'm sure you'll. Uh, your photographs will improve 100%.